Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Dr. Halima Sadia and I am working as a principal uh, in Delhi Private School Ajman. And as far as my qualification is concerned, I have done uh, PhD in philosophy and I have done uh, three MAs, uh, MA in English, Urdu and Arabic. And uh, naturally to be a teacher, I have, we have to be qualified in education. So I have done my uh, BA as well from Delhi University. And the organization where I am working is a PACE group of institutions. And this organization is a very well known organization. And uh, we have like around uh, six schools in UAE and uh, uh, a school in Kuwait and uh, in India many schools are there and colleges there. And uh, our chairman is Dr. P.A. Ibrahim Haji. He is a well known person and he is a philanthropist who always believes in quality education on affordable fees. So this is the introduction of my institution and myself. I am the principal of Delhi Private School Ajman and this school was established in 2017. Uh, although our owners and uh, the management has many schools, but the motto behind this school was that all other schools are uh, budget schools that serves the middle class or lower middle class families. But it was realized that now let us provide the quality education and the high standard education on the affordable fees for the, uh, for the middle class families. So in this way this school uh, came into inception in 2017 and uh, this school is working under Delhi Private School Society Delhi and we are directly guided and we are directly governed by the society and we are abiding by the norms and rules and the principles and the philosophy of the society. Delhi Private School Ajman has a unique feature. We believe in value-based education. Our motto is service before self. So we imbibe the moral values in the students. The success of others is as important as success of mine. So the person should not be greedy or should not be selfish in thinking only about himself. He has to think about others, about other fellow beings, about the classmates, about the society, about the community and the entire world. In this way, when the child takes admission in our school, he is not thinking that I should get A grade or, uh, or uh, A plus grade or I should be the topper in the class. Instead, he thinks that how I am going to be the beneficial for the society. And this is the value we imbibe from nursery onwards. Actually, after my schooling, I came to Delhi along with my husband. And uh, there I started my professional career as Islamic teacher in Hamdad Public School. There I realized that whatever I have learned so far, that's not sufficient for me. Then along with my uh, teaching, I started acquiring more degrees and more knowledge. Then I did my uh, graduation in English, then masters in English, then I did my BA and then did I two other masters. Then I thought that what else can I do? Then I enrolled myself for the PhD and I completed Alhamdulillah my PhD. During this period of time, I enhanced my teaching skills. I, I proved myself that I should be an effective teacher, the teacher who is loving and caring, the teacher who believes that the generation, new generation is in our hands and we are not only earning money, we are building the society, we are the builders of the society. After 19 years of service in Hamdad Public School, I realized now this is the time to go for the international exposure. And fortunately, I got the opportunity to be the principal in Gulf, in UAE. And I grabbed that opportunity, thinking that this is the golden opportunity for me to enhance myself, my leadership skills, my managerial skills, and to serve as the head of the institution. So my first assignment in UAE was India International School, that is in Sharjah. And that school has 6,500 students and 500 staff members. It was really a challenging task for me coming from uh, Delhi, India and then uh, and to this country. This country has like lots of tremendous uh, exposure in the field of education. But gradually I uh, try to learn all those skills and imbibe those skills. And Alhamdulillah when the school was to the uh, to his peak, our management decided to start this new school and I was deputed to this school, Delhi Private School, Ajman. And I have happily accepted this, uh, this project because uh, since my childhood, I was very much fascinated towards DPS schools. 
uh, in fact my both of my sons have studied in dps mathura road that is the uh, oldest school of uh, dps society so since then i was thinking that if i'll get a chance to serve in dps so certainly i am going to grab that certainly i am going to serve in dps and this project i must say this is dream come true and i am very happily serving here nowadays education has become an industry and this in industry is uh, expanding day by day and globally it is going it is going like it is capturing the more attentions of the rulers of the politicians of the uh, people because this industry is a base of the future of any country if the country wants to be among the advanced countries that country has always to focus more on the education and spend more on education this is a fact the people have realized now before giving the career options i must narrate one uh, small incident here uh, one of my a child uh, he came to me and then uh, he said i said what do you want to be when you are going to grow up which profession you are going to adopt when you are going to grow up the child says that uh, i have not decided yet i said okay you tell me that whom do you appreciate the most which profession so he said i want to be a principal i said why not a teacher because principal for principal first you have to be a teacher and then only you can be a principal so he said no 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 teacher i don't like but i want to be a principal so this is the difference in the mindset of the children and the parents that they don't like teaching profession but they like the principalship what is the reason reason being is that people are still thinking that teaching profession is a low paid profession and this is not a very highly paid profession that's why the people are not attracted towards that so here i must uh, give the suggestion to those who have taken any degree in education that nowadays lots of options are open if you have any degree in education you can go for the teaching profession of course that is the most noble profession and most difficult profession that also i must say because teaching is not an easy task you are you are giving something some part of your personality to someone and this giving requires lots of values in us besides teaching profession if you want you can go for the curriculum developers you can go for the administrator you can go for the principalship you can go for the assistant principalship you can go for the head mastership then uh, you can go for the uh, different admin positions in the school system that's why that is the reason we found that now the more intelligent people are attracted towards this industry and globally it's going to have a very bright future now this is not only the board and chalk method you will find that all the classes have interactive boards then lots of information is available only on one click so now education is taking a different dimension the dimension that requires lots of ict skills critical thinking skills communication skills and we have to prepare the children because these children are of 21st century children these are not like us so for these children we have to be smarter than them then only we can groom them into the responsible citizen of any country okay thank you very much